This is the cloud thermometer calibration. What you'll need are three glasses of water, one with ice water, one that's just lukewarm, and one that has hot water. You'll also need a thermometer that you can use to measure the temperature of the water, and the cloud thermometer hardware, that's the Arduino, the CC3000, and the temperature probe. And you'll also see here that I have a multimeter hooked up that's measuring the voltage from the thermistor, so you can see what voltage is being read by the analog digital converter. And we'll switch over and I'll show you the hardware schematic. So here's the hardware that you'll build and you can see the Arduino and the CC3000 and the CC3000 is just hooked up to the Arduino in the standard way that all the CC3000 sketches use. Uh, then you'll also see the thermistor probe is here and it's tough to see in this breadboard view, but it's actually acting as a voltage divider, and I'll show you that in the schematic. And we're measuring the voltage here with one of the analog inputs on the Arduino. So we can see as the thermistor probe changes its resistance, this voltage here will change, and we'll be able to measure that with the analog digital converter. And if you look at the schematic view, it's a lot more clear. Here's the thermistor probe. It's a variable resistor right here and you can see it's acting as a voltage divider so that when the resistance down here changes this voltage will change in proportion to that and we can measure that with the Arduino. Now you might wonder what do you do once you measure that voltage and that's where the Steinhardt Hart equation comes in and this is an equation that tells you the temperature of a semiconductor based on the resistance so because we can measure the voltage and the voltage is proportional to the resistance we can put that into this equation and have it tell us what the temperature is of the thermistor probe. And we need a few things to use this equation. So you can see it takes uh, as input the resistance of the thermistor. That's what we'll measure. And then these coefficients A, B, and C. And unfortunately, you probably don't have these coefficients. Maybe if you're lucky and your thermistor has it in a data sheet, you might be able to use those. But what we can actually do is we can measure these coefficient values. And it's nice, the Wikipedia page actually breaks down what the system of equations would be that you need to solve to figure out from three temperature readings what the actual coefficient values would be. And that's what this sketch will actually do for you. So if you load the thermistor sketch in Arduino, you can see there's a few variables that you can change. So the first one is just which pin is the analog input. And in this case, my hardware, I'm using pin three. Um, what's the resistor that's in series with the thermistor probe? And that's necessary to figure out what the voltage is from the voltage divider. And you can also change if it's going to output in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Uh, and then how many samples the analog digital converter will take. And five is just a general good value here to use. So once you have this loaded, you'll want to upload it to your hardware. And once that finishes, then you'll want to open the serial monitor and it'll tell you instructions on what to do to walk through the calibration process. So it's telling you that what you need and then step one, put the thermistor probe and thermometer into the ice water. So that's already done and we'll type OK and press enter. So wait a little while for the thermistor to stabilize and then type the temperature in Fahrenheit of the water. Um, and so the probe's been in there for a while so we can tell the temperature. We measure it here. looks like it's about 38 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll enter that. Now it's telling me to put the thermistor probe into the lukewarm water. And you can see as I put the probe into the water, the voltage changes. And that's because the resistance of the thermistor probe has changed. And that's changing the voltage that's being read from that voltage divider. So we'll press OK here. Uh, wait a little while. Since we can see with the multimeter that the voltage is already stabilized, we can go ahead and measure the temperature. So it looks like about 65 degrees. And finally we move over to the hot water. And it looks like it's stabilized. We'll measure that temperature. 
and it's 91 degrees. So now here's the important thing. The calibration is done and it's telling me here are the three coefficients, that A, B, and C value that I need to plug into the equation. And using those coefficients, I can actually tell from the resistance what the temperature of the thermistor probe will be. So you'll want to write down these values and use them in the actual cloud thermometer sketch. And now if we press OK or type OK, the sketch will actually output what the temperature of the thermistor probe is. So you can see it's reading about 90, 91 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I move it back to the ice water, you'll see it drops pretty quickly down into the 40s, low 40s. And if we move it to the lukewarm water, we should see something around 60, 65 degrees. There we go, about 63 degrees. So that's the calibration process. You'll use this to get the coefficient values and then plug those in later into the cloud thermometer sketch.